My name is Sam Berkovic. I'm a clinician scientist at the University of Melbourne, Australia, and I'm a full professor in the university. I had the privilege of chairing the research session, and we had five very interesting talks. The first was on comparative efficacy of the various approaches to hypothalamic hematoma. This is still in the early stages, but there are many ways that the hypothalamic hematoma can be removed or destroyed, and we're now trying to gather data from multiple centres to compare these. Um, secondly, um, one of the roadblocks in the uh, development of new therapies for HH has been the lack of an animal model. And doc Dr. West from Utah presented some very interesting preliminary data uh, showing the road to developing a rodent model of this and there was very pleasing uh, developments reported. Thirdly, uh, in work from the University of Melbourne, uh, led by my colleague uh, Dr. Michael Hildebrand, he reported on new genetic discoveries in patients with HH. And what, it's, what is emerging is that uh, HH can be considered uh, as a so-called ciliopathy. Cilia are small parts of the cell that act as special antennas on the cell. And what he's been able to show is that a number of genes that code proteins for the cilia are mutated uh, in many patients with HH. And this gives us a new understanding into its basic biology. The fourth talk shifted gears and went into imaging presented by Dr. Burwinkle uh, and she presented some very exciting data on what's called resting state connectivity um, which shows literally how the brain is working um, not necessarily during seizures and she was able to show both where the seizures are coming from and spreading and also evidence of disturbed networks in the brain that may well help explain the cognitive comorbidities. Um, and the final talk was from Dr. Wu at Barrow, who presented some preliminary work on the cannabinoid receptors, which are the receptors um, where uh, compounds in the marijuana plant uh, connect to. Uh, and he's got some interesting preliminary data showing their importance in um, controlling seizures in patients with hypothalamic hematoma. So uh, I think we can report that there's been some very uh, interesting progress driven by hope for hypothalamic hematoma in a number of areas from uh, genetics, basic science, uh, clinical imaging and also in uh, delivery of uh, treatments to patients with HH. Well, um, research doesn't happen overnight, but I think these five presentations, all of which represent many, many years of work, show that uh, we're well on the way to um, understanding HH better and hopefully improving the lives of uh, people and their families with HH. Uh, why uh, is an international symposium important? I think it's extremely important because um, HH is rare. Uh, each centre has a limited number of cases and by getting together we um, accumulate our experience and that leads to much deeper insights and uh, to new collaborations uh, and even within uh, my group much has happened in the last two days that uh, we're going to take back home and uh, work further with colleagues that we've met here.